yeah, definitely happy with the win. Um, a tough game, you know, they were in it right till the till the last quarter. Um, and all credit to them, I think they came out really ready to go and obviously had scouted us and tried to take away a lot of things that we usually get. So um, overall, just happy with how we kind of um, grinded it out all the way to the end. And yeah, just happy of the girls and what they did. Yeah. Well, I'll open the floor up to questions here and then we'll kick it over to the Zoom. So Jamie Vinnick, Kukan, go ahead. Uh, first off, guys, congrats on the win. Uh, went down early, twenty-three to eleven. And we've seen at times some slower starts, um, but in most cases, have kind of you know erased those. Uh, outscored them by twenty-four the rest of the game. Uh, did something change in the, uh, the kind of the flow of the game, or just shots start falling and their shots start missing? Yeah, I think um, for the most part, we probably didn't come in ready as or as ready as what we should have been. Um, but I think for us, it was just a matter of having people on the floor who were willing to do whatever it took to obviously cut down the lead um, and bring it back to a reasonable scoreline. Because, yeah, that was not pretty. <laughs> yeah, um, I would just say, you know, in that first quarter, we gave up three open looks off baseline mm -hmm. plays. So just little lapses like that um, definitely is not is definitely not a good thing to yeah. start with and so yeah just like all I said coming in ready we need to focus on that a lot more um and have great starts because usually this season we have been starting well but yeah obviously today not not great and Ula for you in particular uh kind of feel back to 100 percent after missing a couple games with a knee injury yeah um definitely felt it <laughs> obviously the fact of like being out for a week and a bit um, took like a whatever toll on me, but um, just it was good being back on the floor with everyone, slowly getting into things um, in terms of practices and stuff. And obviously um, having to adjust to playing a bigger load than what I initially thought. Um, the lungs were working. <laughs> <laughs> lungs were working overtime today. But um, yeah, no, just happy to be back and back on the floor with the girls. And Charlize, uh it's a tough one for you against NC State with just a couple points. Um, you come back with 27 a day, a little more of what uh, what fans have come to expect. Um, it kind of just a, a quick weight off the shoulders to come back and, and perform to the, the expectations, the standards you have for yourself. Um, yes and no. I mean, I think NC State, there was a lot of uh, good things that came from that game. Obviously, if you just look at the, the scoreboard, you know, you have all these different thoughts going. But I think... Um, for me, you know, I kind of was taking the same shots in that game that I would normally and they just weren't dropping for me. And so being able to come back and, you know, shoot in Beasley and I've just been, you know, in the gym a bit more shooting and just trying to feel that touch uh, or get that touch back was, you know, good for me. And then obviously just making some shots today. Um, yeah, just felt good. So, yeah, I, I think I obviously bounced back well and just try to carry that on for these next few games. And then UC Davis, your next opponent, uh, a road game. They're coming off a win in Eugene. Um, mm -hmm. Does that change the way you guys have to prepare just because they're going to be oozing with even more confidence than they may have been uh, prior to this game? Um, I think just in terms of our mindset going into it, obviously we know they're, they're a good team and on any given day um, anybody can have a great game. And so they'll definitely be coming in with a lot, of, a lot more confidence than probably what we would have mm -hmm. thought. Um, so, yeah, we're going to have to go into that game really ready, know the scout well, um, kind of look at how they did manage to get that win. And obviously they're going to be scouting us. So just focusing on what we can do to control that game. So Bella Maricatete had to miss a lot of time in this game because she was in foul trouble pretty early. How did you guys um, adjust to that, and what was Coach E's message to you guys after uh, after a few players got into foul trouble pretty early? Um, I th I don't think there was a specific message, but it was also just us um, being old enough and mature enough to think, okay, Bella's not on the floor, what are we going to run? Who's going to be in what spot? And who has to be ready to play what spot to be able to fill voids? Like, obviously, Bell's killer in the post and really good presence for us, but um, it was also more so just us being able to work together and figure things out um, to be able to get the win. Yeah, um, just looking at the foul count, I mean... Mm. Almost everybody who got on the floor, or everyone who did get, everybody who got on the floor got a foul today. So I think that's just on us not adjusting to the refs quick enough, um, or throughout the whole entire game, and that goes both ways. I mean, I don't think we punish them enough um, getting to the rim and trying to draw fouls as well. And I think when we started doing that late, um, that really opened up the lead for us. So I think just as a team, we need to adjust to that quicker. Talk about it in huddles and the timeouts. Um, and really focus in on how the refs are refing the game. Yeah. 
Hey, congrats on the win. Uh, Charlize, you went 5 of 10 from three-point range tonight. Do you think uh, they were giving you some space? Do you just kind of find rhythm, or what, what do you kind of account for that? <laughs> Definitely giving me space. I mean, they were going under screens, and so I, I knew coming into that game that that's probably yeah. what they were going to do, and, you know, other teams have done that in the past. So just being confident enough to take those shots and um, prepare myself before the game, I think, really helped me today. And, um, you know, I took the shots that were there and probably left some out there, so... Yeah, just, just how they played it and also just feeling good and being able to um, knock them down. Mm. And uh, for both of you, you know, a lot of momentum after that second quarter, but the third quarter you guys really ran away with it. Uh, what was kind of just the, the team mentality at halftime? Zero, zero. <laughs> um, obviously a lot or th some things went wrong for us in the first half and we just spoke about um, being able to adjust and fix those things in the second. But... Yeah, it was a good team win in the end, and obviously Charlie's killed it. Team's got to stop going under, but um, yeah, no, just uh, just shows like the grittiness of everyone who gets on and plays hard.